For the Raw, it's been the Hayley Rasso show, you've got to say. Six appearances so far this season, three goals, two assists, has scored three goals all in the first half of the game. And it's a return to Brisbane for Ivy Lewick. She debuted for the Raw back in round one of the 09-10 season. Her actual most recent goal is coming against the Raw in the semi-final win back in 17-18 season. Here's Yallop playing in Holly Palmer. Coming into the starting lineup. Looking for the one-two. Here's a chance for Rasso. She hits it. It's wide though from Haley Rasso. But exciting start to the game from the Brisbane Raw. It's good build-up from the Raw here. Great early ball into the box. Not worried about the overlap. And Haley Rasso at the back post probably could have done a little bit uh, look better with that. She's probably not very happy with herself to be honest. Here's Kinger out to Catley. Not a bad ball. Arnold's got to be Kevin Mijatovic buries it. It's the opening goal here at Dockland Stadium. Dolphin Stadium, thanks to Mili Mijatovic. The ball from Catley coming in. Kenzie Arnold punched it clear initially. Great ball in from Steph Catley, but the, the clearance probably could have been a little bit uh, better. I think uh, Mackenzie Arnold would have liked to have got a little bit of air on that one, but what a finish it was from Mijatovic. Great technique. Roar have done well to force it all the way back there. Eventually to Lydia Williams. It's an interception though. Here's Yala trying it from long range. Just didn't quite get the right connection on it. The idea was good. Force a mistake to make Yala on this right side here with Ellie Carpenter with acres of space had they been able to play out from there and switch the play the point of attack. Catley on that far side again. Headed away momentarily. Could be another chance for Mijatovic. Lays it off to Carpenter. Van Egmont in the middle. Just slightly overhit from Ellie Carpenter. But draws the round of applause from Emily Van Egmond. Gori has space ahead of her. Plays in, based into the right. She's got Yallop in the middle if she wants. She uses her. Here's Yallop rising highest. Could still could be a chance for the Raw. Back in it goes from Rasso. It was on target. Cleared off the line, though, from Stock. What a great ball that was in to Tamika Yallop. And brave from Yallop as well. Lydia Williams cleaned her up well and truly. Cleared off the line in the end by Melbourne City. The follow-up header from Brasso. They're very structured in their build-up as well, so they use their width exceptionally well. Steph Catley just waited in the, on the edge of that front third of the pitch, just waiting for the, the ball to get out to her rather than going inside looking for it. And that's probably what the Raw do. They're sometimes a little bit too narrow. They need to stretch. A great shot off the, off the crossbar from Haley Rasso. But they strung some passes together then, the Raw, and that's the key. They can't turn the ball over as easily as they have in the past. Tamika Yallop done well there. Lays the ball back. Haley Russo with a great shot. Unlucky that one didn't find the back of the net. Raw have turned it over again. Emsley, the one on one. That's a king. Gets a shot away. Forces a save of Arnold. Still a chance for City. Back in from Carpenter. Shot come cross. Arnold able to hold on to that one though. End to end stuff at the moment. Now City striding forward again through Carpenter. Play the two, Mijatovic. Catley coming forward again. Gets a shot away just wide from Steph Catley. But it's another chance for Melbourne City. Once again, coming more created by the power of their wing backs. The midfield is maintaining the central position, but Ellie Carpenter cutting in from the right. Here is Rasso playing in Yallop. Just can't turn Yallop. Plays it back to Dalton. Nice lead from Yallop. Here's Rasso. Chance. Just couldn't get the direction from Haley Rasso to beat Lydia Williams. 
Good play from the Royals, expecting them to open up on that right-hand side. But Dalton plays that ball, a little dummy by Tamika Yallop. Leaving Hayley Russo in a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Here's Yallop out to Russo. Pickett's continued her run forward in the box. Hayley Russo going this way, that way. Gets the shot away, could be a chance for Pickett. Flick over the top. Williams was aware though. Checker, can't get it past Rasso. Only Rasso got Bazin on her right if she wants, uses her. Here is Riley Bazin, into the box she goes. Back to Palmer, uses Pickett. Carson Pickett strikes it. Stott blocked that and you can see she's hurt, but still a chance for the Raw. Gorey back in from Yallop, not far away from Tamika Yallop. Against her old side, looking for a goal tonight. Gorey makes a clearance, but it only falls as far as Emsley. Emsley still going to Van Egmon. Got Carpenter there if she wants, uses her. Just slightly behind the Melbourne City player there. Van Egmon still up there, plays it to Lewick. Carpenter eventually, City do ever so well. Lewick goes down, the challenge from Gorey, and the referee points straight to the spot. No doubt about that. Good, patient possession for Melbourne City there. Looking for the opportunity, little one too. Bit of a lucky bounce there for Ellie Carpenter, but no doubt about the foul there. And can Steph Catley make Gorey pay to make it two? Catley hits it. And it is wide from her. Can you believe that? Almost needed a second look at that. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting one. I think she opened herself up a little bit too much and Mackenzie Arnold picked the side as well. Had it been on target, I think she's probably well across enough to cover that, make that save. Gorey does well, though. Getting back there. Rasso running at the City defence. Still she goes. Hayley Rasso, a driving run from Rasso, and she goes down. Claims for a penalty. Not given, though by Rachel Mitchardson. I think she's taken that unfairly. I think it's a fair claim for Pimbley. Just appeared to get that touch just ahead of Catley. Kellen Knight and King are just fighting for possession. Initially, Kellen Knight won out, but now City can go forward through their goal scorer, Mijatovic. Mijatovic plays in Catley. Ball back across, could be a chance. There's a shot coming in, it's over. From Vlanich, the substitute. Will be disappointed with that effort. Good work, good build up play. Once again, Steph Catley gets to that byline. She's got such a sweet left foot. And now, City move it forward. Mijanovic again, space in front of her as well. Cross to Catley, who'll get on the end of this. Steph Catley. Important touch there from Tatham. Still a chance though. Mijanovic thinks about the shot. Plays it to Lewick instead. Ivy Lewick with the head. It's in the back of the net. It's two for Melbourne City. She scores against her former club. Ivy Lewick. That's a killer blow for the draw. They've done so well to get back, well not back into this game, but certainly make a contest of it. And that one, once again, a silly turnover, but clever. Clever play from Miatovic. Patient. She looked to shoot. Ivy Lewick, just a little bit of an overlap. Great strike. Oh, and Barnes has missed out there. Allowed Yallop in. Tamika Yallop, will she go herself? Still she goes, Yallop gets the shot away. It's just over the crossbar. Took a deflection on the way through, so it'll be a corner to the raw. Yeah, a bit of a lucky bobble, but sometimes you've got to make your own luck. Tamika Yallop always looking to make those forward runs, always energetic in and around the box. Unfortunately, that one didn't drop in the back of the net. Takes her time, gets her head up, comes back inside. Back to Polkinghorne. Gets a ball into the box. Pickett has a chance here. Turns and shoots either side of 
Lydia Williams, and it might have tested her, but there is the full-time whistle. Melbourne City going out 2-0 winners over the Brisbane Roar in this all-important clash. They'll be thrilled to bits. A six-minute strike thanks to Mili Mijatovic. And a 74th-minute goal from Ivy Lewick against her old side. Melbourne City going top of the table over the Brisbane Roar.